Hey guys, this is Anshu and I'm back with a few more questions from biology section of AIPMT 2008 question paper. I hope and I believe that you are working very very hard to achieve your goal. And if you like this tutorial, you can just follow my unacademy profile for more such practice of questions. Since you know practice makes a man perfect, so the more questions you practice, the more perfection you will get. And basically what you have to do in this tutorial is, you have to read the question, you have to try to answer it on your own and then I'll be reading the answer as well as the explanation of it. So I hope you do it well, all the best, let's start. Okay, with the continuation of the previous tutorial, here is the question number 13 in front of you. And basically in this question, on one side you will see the method on an and the other side the mode of action to achieve contraception so you have to match the correct method with the correct mode of action I hope you do it correctly so all the best try it I hope your answer was right so the correct answer for this question is option number three why I would tell you the pill what it does is it prevents ovulation from the ovary it does not allow the ova to come out from the ovary and the condom, it prevents the sperms from reaching the cervix by acting as a barrier. Vasectomy is a surgical procedure which is performed in male, due to which the semen which is released contains no sperms or very few sperms. Copper T is an intrauterine device which is placed in the uterus of the female. It prevents implantation of the zygote. I hope it's clear to you. Now we are moving forward to the next question. The next question is the chemiosmotic coupling hypothesis of oxidative phosphorylation proposes that ATP is formed because what has been actually asked is according to chemiosmotic coupling hypothesis how the ATP is formed. I hope you do it well. Just try it. I know your answer was right. Still I will be telling you. The correct answer is option number one. How? Okay, when you remember the diagram from NCRT, if this is the mitochondrial inner membrane, this is where the H plus gradient or the proton gradient used to form. And when this proton gradient crosses the inner membrane, ATPase, action, ATPase enzyme comes into action and it forms the ATP. I hope it's clear to you and guys, this question and this topic is very very important. Please go through it from NCRT once. Okay, so we are moving forward to the next question. Question number 15. The linking of antibiotic resistance gene with the plasmid vector became possible with. So basically you have to tell out of which one of the following this linking of antibiotic resistance gene became possible with the plasmid vector. I hope you do it. Correct answer is option number 3 DNA ligase. Here the linking was the linking word is very important here. It has played a very important role in forming this question. So basically DNA ligase, what it does is, it links two DNA molecules. That's what has been uh, done here. The antibiotic resistance gene is ligated with plasmid vector with the help of DNA ligase enzyme. I hope it's clear to you. So we are moving forward to the next question. The next question is, the rupture and fractionation do not usually occur in the water column in vessels and trachets during the accent of sap because of. Basically what has been asked is why the water column which is formed within the vessel or trachet is not ruptured. I hope you do it well. It's a very easy question. Just try to answer it. Okay, the correct answer is option number 4, cohesion and addition. Actually friends, when water molecules are arranged one above the other in the vessel or tracket, a water column is formed. And why this water column does not rupture easily because of these two forces which are cohesion and addition between the water molecules. I hope this answers your question. Now we are moving forward to the next question. Question number 17 is 
thorn of bougainvillea and tendril of cucurbita are example of it's a very easy yet very important question please do try to answer it i hope your answer is right the correct answer is option number 4 homologous organs so basically what does this homologous word means two organs which have similar origin but they perform different functions are called homologous organs the same thing is happening here thorn of bougainvillea and tendril of cucurbita have the same origin but the thorn of bougainvillea protects it from the grazing animal whereas the tendril of cucurbita helps it in moving upwards okay now we are moving forward to the next question okay in this question what you have to tell is out of these four measures which are given to you which two of them can be used to successfully grow chickpea in an area where bacterial blight disease is common it's a very easy yet i would say an important question and as well as an important topic please do try to answer it correctly i hope your answer was right so the correct answer for this question is option number 1 so third and fourth measures are correct why i would tell you use of only disease free seeds if we will use disease free seeds what will happen is the seeds will not be contaminated easily and the bacterial blight disease will not occur to it use of varieties resistant to the disease when the varieties which are used are resistant to the bacterial blight disease it would be very difficult for the disease to spread and hence the chickpea would be able to grow successfully okay now we are moving forward to the next question it's a theoretical question World Summit on Sustainable Development 2002 was held in it's not necessary that uh, 2002 has been asked so 2003 or any particular year will be asked you have to learn each and every year where the world summit was held so just try to answer this question i hope your answer is right the correct answer for this question is option number 2 south africa this is where the world summit on sustainable development in 2002 was held Okay now we are moving forward to the next question question number 20 darwin's finches are an excellent examples of you have to tell darwin's finches are an excellent excellent example of which one of the following please do try to answer it the correct answer is option number 3 adaptive radiation friends if you remember this chapter from uh, and this topic from evolution chapter What did Darwin observed when he visited the Galapagos island what he observed was different finches when they were adapted to different habitats or different food habits they just adapted themselves according to the uh, place where they were living so that's how the darwin finches became an example of adaptive radiation what basically adaptive radiation means if you are made to live somewhere in a particular environment you get adapted to that that's what basically means adaptive radiation now the next question polysome is formed by it's a very easy question please do try to answer it but please be careful these options are really confusing so read carefully and try to answer it okay so the correct answer is option number 3 several ribosomes attached to a single mrna are called polysome and why the rest three options are incorrect i would tell i would tell you the first option a ribosome with several subunits no a, a ribosome with several subunits is not possible because a ribosome has only two subunits a smaller and a larger one so this option is totally wrong second option ribosomes attached to each other in a linear arrangement no ribosomes cannot attach to each other without the help of mrna fourth option many ribosomes attached to a strand of endoplasmic reticulum no they are not called polysome even if they are attached now we are moving forward to the next question question number 22 it's a very easy question Which one of the following pairs of nitrogenous bases of nucleic acids is wrongly matched with the category mentioned against it? You must be very thorough with this topic. What is purine and what is pyrimidine? 
just try to answer which one is wrong i hope you answer it correctly correct answer is option number 2 adenine and thymine thymine is not actually a purine here is the list you can see adenine and guanine are called purine whereas cytosine uracil and thymine are called as pyrimidine okay now next question the fruit is chambered developed from inferior ovary and has seeds with succulent testa in in which one of the following these characteristics are found please do try to answer it i hope your answer was right the correct answer for this question is pomegranate the one character which i would tell you is very important in identifying this option is this part the succulent testa the word succulent means juicy and out of this uh, means above this seed what you see is juicy testa that reddish part of the pomegranate uh, fruit is testa the succulent testa and uh, rest three options are why wrong because in pomegranate only the fruit is chambered and it is developed from inferior inferior ovary as well when you see the structure of a pomegranate this is how it looks just try to imagine it this part is the inferior ovary that's the way you have to identify and friends this morphology chapter is very very important and the examples specially you have to remember them all so just read it thoroughly now we are moving forward to the next question question number 24 Endosperm is consumed by developing embryo in the seed of. This question is very easy. Just try to answer it. Okay, the correct answer is option number one. Guys, if you remember the characteristic of monocot and dicot plants, pea is actually a dicot plant, and in dicot plant, the endosperm is totally consumed by the developing embryo, whereas maize, coconut, and castor are monocot, and hence their endosperm is left. Now the next question, question number twenty-five. You have to tell out of these four options which one is true for the DNA molecule. Please do read the options well and try to answer it. So the correct answer is option number two. In DNA, there are two strands which run anti-parallel, one in three prime to five prime, and there are in the second one from five prime to three prime. Rest three options are totally incorrect. why because the proportion of adenine in relation to thymine varies with the organism no in a particular organism this proportion that is adenine to thymine proportion is constant the total amount of purine nucleotides and pyrimidine nucleotides is not always equal no this option is wrong if you remember the chargaff's rule it says that purine is always equal to the pyrimidine There are two strands which run parallel in the three prime to five prime direction. No, this is wrong. They run anti-parallel. So I hope you got it. This is how the tutorial ends. Thank you for watching it and keep learning, keep working hard. I hope you do well in NEET. And if you like this tutorial, please do follow me at my Unacademy profile. And just keep working hard. Bye bye.